Now I'll make another prediction. <clears throat> I predict that very soon, Obama will create a crisis along the lines of the Reichstag, fi Reichstag fire. I don't know what form it will take, but I believe that once the minions are seen for what they are, Ram Emanuel and his gang will set off a Reichstag fire in this country of some kind, and they will recall the military dictatorship of Lincoln and Stanton during the Civil War when civ civilian suspects were arrested without warrant. I will tell you as I sit here, I fear that every night as I go to sleep. I put nothing past these agitators who have suddenly seized control of the most powerful economy and the most powerful military on earth. No, my friends, I am losing a great deal of sleep every night because I do see this happening right before my eyes. Again, I will repeat what I just said. Mark it down. I again tell you that there will be the equivalent of a crisis on the order of the Reichstag fire. I don't know where it will occur. I don't know how it will occur. I don't know what form it will take. But during this crisis that will be triggered by the Democrats around Obama, the gang that surrounds Obama, they will bring up Lincoln. They will recall the military dictatorship of Lincoln in, uh, in other terms during the Civil War. And they will do what Lincoln did. And they will arrest civilians without warrant in the name of saving the economy or saving the government from a right-wing takeover. Mark my words. You can put that down and you can put it in bronze, not on ice. I can guarantee you that that's what these people are planning. And that's what th these people will do when they become desperate enough, when they are finally seen for who they are. This is a gang. Make no mistake about it. This is not as much an administration as it is a gang. The gang, again, has taken over within less than two months, virtually all finance in the country, banking, insurance, stocks, bonds, and mortgages, all under their absolute control. That's why they will not disclose where the $2.2 trillion has gone. Savage. Right now, what we have is a dictatorship run by a gang. It's a gang under Obama, although I think he's the front man. I think that soon they're going to realize that he's more intelligent that they, than they uh, originally thought, and they're going to find out that they're going to be left out in the cold. But that's going to take a little while before the Ram Emanuel gang realizes that Obama has outsmarted them, and he's not just their front man. I made a prediction on the show yesterday that I'll repeat right now so that you can mark it down. Savage predicts a Reichstag fire-like event sometime within the next year or two in America that will have been conducted by the government and blamed upon subversive elements in order to permit a dictatorship, and a naked dictatorship to emerge in this country. If you think I'm making this up, you're right, I'm making it up. But I'm not making it up out of whole cloth. I'm making it up out of historical cloth. Rahm Emanuel is a very devious man. Rahm Emanuel has deep roots going back to uh, dictatorial inclinations. You want me to open that one up? Would you like to discuss Rahm Emanuel and who he is and uh, what his uh, background is and his father's background? His father was a member of the Ergun in the early days of Israel, which I think is quite ironic when you think about it. Here you have the most anti-Israel administration in modern American history, perhaps since Eisenhower, and the chief of staff's name is Rahm Emanuel. He is from Israel, and his father fought with Meyer Begin in the Ergun in the early days of the foundation of Israel. Some would call, some would, 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 would term the Ergun a terrorist organization. They did horrible things. They blew up the King David Hotel, killing British soldiers. If they had any opponents within their own party, meaning Jews against Jews, they took the men that they caught, who they didn't approve, and they hung their they put their hands on the top of doors and they closed doors on their fingers and broke their fingers. They were not nice guys. They were powerful, brutal, bloodthirsty revolutionaries. That's who created Israel. And that's how every country on earth has been created, by basically by, by tough guys who are killers. There's not a country on earth that's been created by nice men. So let's not make this an exception. So now Rahm Emanuel grows up in the home of a Jewish revolutionary in Israel, and now he is the chief of staff to the president of the United States, who happens to stab Israel in the back as one of his first acts, uh, through the hands of Hillary Clinton, who hoodwinked the Jews of New York, by the way, to get elected. He made, they made her, she made herself look like uh, someone who would support Israel. And the minute she was no longer needing them, she did what was necessary for the New World Order and the powers that be. The uh, secret Saudi money that went in to support Obama needs to be, you know, 
paid back. I mean, there's a reason that they supported Obama. The long and short of it is Rahm Emanuel, Rahm Emanuel was steeped and raised in politics of the most ruthless kind by his daddy. And if you think he's not trying to, prote- uh, to uh, uh, act out these policies, these methodologies, I believe you're wrong. For them to attack, for example, Rush Limbaugh head on in this manner indicates A, how desperate they are, and B, how dictatorial they are. George Bush, for all of his flaws, and I was probably his most profound critic in the, in the uh, uh, independent movement, for seven and a half years I tried to steer this man back to the center, but it was almost impossible. He had veered so far to the left, it was, it was a very difficult, daunting task. But you know what I did over the years. It was a very difficult job with George Bush. But for all of his flaws, George Bush never, ever singled out people in the media by name and put them on an enemies list. He never did that. Right now, they're doing it. And if you think Rush Limbaugh is the only one on the enemies list, you are mistaken. They don't need a uh, fairness doctrine. All they need to do is scare off advertisers to the Rush Limbaugh show. All they need to do is scare off the owners of the, uh, net, of the um, companies that own the syndication company that syndicates Rush Limbaugh by saying, if you don't do this, that, or the other thing with him, if you don't rein in Rush Limbaugh and the others, we're going to do X, Y, and Z to your, uh, to your syndication. We're going to do X, Y, and Z to your corporation. We're going to do X, Y, and Z. If, on the other hand, you play ball with us, we'll make sure that your corporation gets benefits.